Palau. Well, on the 5th of January, Click, which is one of the uh, global market leaders in data visualization and analytics, announced its intention to acquire Talend, which is one of the global market leaders in data integration and management software. And we think this is quite big news. So I'm delighted that this week uh, I'm joined by my excellent IDC colleagues, Giovanni and Jason, um, to help me uh, discuss what's happening here. So let's start by having you guys introduce yourselves. It's great to have you here. Um, Giovanni, do you want to start? Yeah, so thank you, Neil, for inviting me. I'm very pleased to be here. I'm Giovanni Cervellati, and uh, in IDC, I work together with Neil and Jason. And uh, what is my focus area, what my focus area is, is the um, uh, data visualization, advanced and predictive analytics, and machine learning. Fantastic. Thanks, Gio. And Jason? And yes, uh, I'm Jason Stamper, and um, at IDC, I write about data integration as a research manager, uh, data management, data quality, and some of the data platforms as well, like databases, Hadoop, etc. Fantastic. You're the perfect, the perfect team to be talking about this with. So thank you very much. Let's start with you, Giovanni. Um, why, in a, in a sort of high level, why is why are Click and Talent coming together? Um, what what's going on here? So, yeah, I think that, first of all, we have to um, focus and have a look at what uh, is the market situation now. And we can see a clear market shift uh, from the competitors uh, that tend to provide more and more end-to-end -end solutions. And this is something that, of course, Click is following too. Uh, but I would like just to mention one thing uh, is that uh, in 2017, so five years ago, Toma Bravo acquisition was the real game changer for Click because uh, it put uh, a lot of resources available for investments and acquisition. Still, um, it's uh, interesting to see that uh, um, Click is uh, focusing exclusively on the data intelligence and integration and analytics part so far, at least. Yeah. All right, fantastic. Thanks, Gio. So, uh, Jason, coming to you, um, Talend is known, you know, primarily for things like data integration and management. Um, is this a good fit for Click as it is today, uh, or are there maybe overlaps that we need to be aware of? I think it is a good fit. Um, I think most of the visualization vendors are trying to move down the stack and have a bigger, you know, pot, if you like. Um, but there are some overlaps because they bought Attunity in 2019 and they called that Click DI data integration. So there are some overlaps, but on the whole, they did have some different strengths and weaknesses uh, in terms of legacy integration and real time uh, integration and data movement and so on. So it's not terrible, but there are some overlaps. Not terrible. Excellent. OK, that's good. <laughs> that's good to know. So um, I guess taking a different tack on that question, I mean, Giovanni, do you think it was right for Click to move beyond visualization type tools to to embrace, you know, deeper integration capabilities, um, more of an end to end kind of offering around data ops enablement, that kind of thing? It, 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 is this what end customers want? I mean, I know we have survey data, we're learning things from our customers all the time. So w what do we know about this? Okay, I think uh, this is a super interesting question, and I shall uh, try to answer by looking at in, uh, by taking two different approaches. The first one I have already mentioned is the uh, the um, uh, market moving to uh, towards more comprehensive solutions, but at the same time, uh, what uh, do customers want? And uh, they mentioned in a recent uh, IDC Hour survey that uh, the major issue for them was data quality. So if we think that uh, uh, if we think about uh, Click as a BI solution or uh, analytical solution, uh, what's missing there? It's exactly the uh, data pipelines, so data quality, data intelligence, and the automation of it, which is actually the data ops concept. And um, this requirement for more uh, integrated data pipelines perfectly uh, resonates with the acquisition of uh, talent and also the pre previous acquisitions in a way. And we also have to mention that Click does not provide broad data creation or data management solution. And uh, just answering your question, yes, probably this is the right choice because uh, what was missing and customers need 
uh, is exactly the uh, data quality, data integration, data intelligence part, which has now been very boosted. Fantastic. Um, so let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, Jason, you know, over the last five years, um, Click has made quite a lot of acquisitions, actually little ones. Uh, and this planned acquisition of Talent is obviously quite a big one. But do you see that this is likely to continue? Are we going to, are we going to see more acquisitions in the future? I don't think we've seen the last of acquisitions um, by Click or mergers by Toma Bravo with Click and other companies that it owns. There's been some speculation that Toma Bravo, because it owns Anaplan, for example, which is a performance management company, mm. might fold that into Click. Um, not sure that would make a lot of sense, but um, certainly I think Click will continue to expand through a mixture of you know, um, organic growth as well as uh, acquisitions and mergers. Mm. Okay, fantastic. So let's let's kind of wrap this up uh, and talk about you know what what your views are of what this actually means for customers. Yeah, so I tend to see the uh, the positive part of it. So I have a, a very a very positive view of this acquisition. Mm, but let me explain you why. I mean, we have already mentioned about uh, uh, the uh, more comprehensive solution, but if we just focus on Click itself um, as it was before, it had a very, very good, uh, broad and complete uh, um, uh, set of tools for the uh, BI, business intelligence part, but uh, uh, it's um, uh, that integration and intelligence tax was okay, but probably not as strong as it uh, is now with the acquisition of talent. And we uh, talk about what customer needs. Uh, and again, I, I shall mention again our survey. They mentioned the no code capabilities and data quality capabilities as the core, the key solutions. And this is exactly what uh, talent brings to Click uh, uh, and to the uh, DII, so that intelligence acquisition capabilities of Click. So looking at uh, it in this way, I think it's a very positive acquisition. And so the last word goes to you, Jason. What's your view on this from, from the customer's point of view? Well, I think um, on the whole, I'm, I'm, I think it's a fairly positive move. I think there's a lot of good reasons to be combining the companies. Um, but I think some customers will be a little bit nervous about the fact that they just happen to be owned by the same uh, company and a little bit nervous about whether or not there are overlaps between Talend and Click's DI data integration and whether or not they might end up in, you know, some sort of uh, area where there's a streamlining process and um, they don't have all of the... Um, licensing that they previously had and the products that were supported previously so yeah. there's some overlaps to be sure um but uh, on the whole i'm positive as well giovanni and jason thank you very much for taking the time to uh, talk to me today about click and talent and i'm hoping to get you on more and more of these videos going forward so i hope you didn't mind the experience too much um brilliant to have you on thank you and thank you very much for watching uh, as always do let me know what you think um, and if you enjoyed this, please like and share and maybe even subscribe and I will see you again very soon.